Hey, what's poppin', y'all? It's your boy, Andros. Anyways, today I'm gonna be uh, going over my uh, my fitness journey, or like kind of like when I started working out, uh, and all the way up to like right now. So basically, I started working out when I was about 13 years old. I know in the last video I said I was 16, but I just double checked, looked at some pictures in the old family computer, uh, and I found a video of myself uh, squatting when I was 13. I'll edit that in soon. You'll probably see it right now. Uh, started lifting when I was 13. I was a pretty chubby kid. Um, I don't know how much I weighed, but I'm I'm guessing I was around 140 to 150 pounds at 13. So you know I was pretty fucking chunky. Anyways, <clears throat> my diet was complete garbage, and it'll remain to stay garbage for the next seven years of my uh, <laughs> of my life. And uh, I was training off and on like not really training i could say i would be motivated for about two weeks um and then i'd get sore after the end of the two weeks be like, oh i don't want to go out i don't want to go to the gym i don't want to go for a run and then i'd go on a month two month long break uh yeah and then after a couple of months i'd be like yeah let's go back get to the gym get fit again because i was always fat and i always wanted to be not skinny but i always wanted to be built you know but I would always lose motivation. I just didn't have that drive in me. Um, let's see. When I was 14. Oh yeah, when I was 14 and 16. Uh, when I was 14 years old, I joined marching band at my high school. And um, yeah, I'm a geek, I know. Whatever, <laughs> so be it. But um, I was always musically, musically inclined and I played piano when I was younger, but I kind of stopped doing that and I was interested in the drums. So I tried out to play bass drum because I always wanted to carry that big ass drum like fucking hit it with fucking <laughs> the giant mallets, dude. It was so cool to me at the time. And I made it, man. It was awesome. Um, carrying that 20 pound bass drum for miles in hot Florida weather, like 95 degrees to hundred degrees every day, man, it sucked, but it was fun. I had some pretty good times there. Um, you'd think that that would make me lose some weight, but in fact, it didn't. I was, uh, that was the only exercise I was doing, which was be like two hours a day after school. After that, I'd come home and then just binge watch Naruto or play some video games on my Xbox and just eat fucking junk food all the time. Uh, not to brag, but my marching band was pretty fucking good, dude. We got invited to go, uh play at the new year's parade in rome italy and it, that was a fucking experience man it was so fun uh marching like five miles through the streets of rome on new year's day it was so awesome anyways um during this time my grades dropped tremendously because i did not give a flying fuck about my uh about my grades all i was thinking about was marching band video games anime and what i was going to eat next uh, so yeah, pretty much a fucking nerd. <laughs> Anyways, um, in about my sophomore year of high school, uh, my girls were so bad that my parents decided, all right, dude, enough's enough. We're going to send you to military school. And that was a big shock to me. I was not expecting that one, but, uh, they pulled a quick one on me and they sent me out, uh, January of like 2017, I believe. Yeah, uh, the first month was pretty tough. Uh, no, It was like a dopamine detox for a month, man. Like, no phones. Uh, we could only call our parents once a, once a day, I think, uh, on a, like, a fucking payphone. But we didn't have to pay for it, but it was that's what it looked like. It was a goddamn payphone. And there was like three of them, so everyone was talking to their parents. And like you'd be telling, yo, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to talk to my mom. <laughs> Anyways, um, you'd think going to a military school would also get me into shape, but... Um, for the three years that I was there, that did not happen. I would always skip, um, mandatory activities. It was called GSA or general sports and activities, which would be like one to two hours of mandatory, uh, either sports or like, um, uh, uh, you and your company, which is like your group of, uh, people that you were with, that they assigned you to would, would go and like play basketball or go for a run or, uh, go to the weight room or something. I would skip all of that, man. I'd stay in my room and I'd be either either by myself and like jerk it to some X-rated videos, or I'd skip with some friends and we'd hop on land and be playing Rainbow Six Siege, Terraria, Minecraft, Destiny, Risk of Rain 2. Fun times, man. It was fun, but there was were some 
pretty bad habits that I was building up day after day after day for three years. And they stuck with me, man. They've been imprinted in my brain so many times that when I graduated, I was still doing them. And I'm not saying it's bad to like play video games. It, I think it's all right if you play a little bit, but you got to keep it balanced, man. You can't be playing six, seven hours a day like I was. Um, so by the time I graduated high school in 2019, I was about 225 pounds of fat and a little bit of muscle. So I'm going to put in a video real quick of me smoking a cigar that I got from Captain Bremer. Thank you, sir. Freaking awesome. I love that man. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And after I graduated, I went to college and my soul, my sole purpose, my entire goal from going to college was to get a, get a girlfriend, man. And me being a fat 225 pound piece of crap, uh, somehow got asked out by a hot ass girl, dude. She was solid nine out of 10. So hot. Uh, yeah, she asked me out after two weeks of being in college and of course i couldn't pass that up i said yes and it was freaking awesome we had amazing times together uh <clears throat> excuse me excuse me there um it was awesome we would be cuddling like eating snacks together in bed watching movies all the time it was fun but it was instant gratification it was things that made me complacent i was i had achieved my specific goal which is get a girlfriend and i thought in my brain that Oh, I have a girlfriend. I don't have to work out anymore. I don't have to like achieve anything else. I don't have to go get a side gig or something. And that's really what messed me up, man. That's what I think caused um, a lot of problems in our relationship. I'll get into that later some other day, maybe. But um, fast forward about two years, um, December of last year, so about five months ago, uh, I was longboarding um, and... I broke my femur. So basically, let's pretend my phone is my longboard, and this is me. I was traveling pretty fast on the, on the street, and I was going to do a U-turn, you know? But I was going too quick, so I couldn't make a full U-turn around the street. So I was going to crash into my neighbor's bushes like this. And instead of jumping off the side of the uh, the longboard, I decided to jump forward and just land in the grass. I was like, all right, whatever. I'll just land in the grass. And I jumped forward, and my the momentum on my back leg shot the skateboard backwards and my left leg stayed on and it snapped my leg in two. Um, so yeah, I was bedridden in the hospital for about a week. Pretty miserable, miserable time. Not going to lie. Um, that, I think that's when I started losing a lot of weight, obviously because I wasn't doing any exercise. I also wasn't eating a lot. So I lost a bunch of, a bunch of muscle, but also a little bit of fat. So, um, I remember going home after about a week and uh, I got surgery. They put metal rod in my in my femur. So now I'm a bionic man. I got a piece of metal in my left leg right now. It's probably not going to come out my entire life. I'm probably going to stay there for life. Uh, yeah, so I started going to physical therapy once I was on a crutch, like just a single crutch. And um, that's I think that's when I started... Um, losing weight. I started, I started off at like 205 pounds before I broke my leg. And I was like 195 when I started doing, um, physical therapy and I was doing physical therapy and uh, for about like a month or so, then I felt better. I could walk and I decided, awesome, I can go back to university. And, um, I went back to uni for about a month after my birthday and all that. And then last month, uh, my ex-girlfriend, she decided to dump me and I don't hold any ill feelings or any ill will towards her. It's, um, honestly, I don't blame her. I was just a fat piece of crap that wasn't doing anything with his life. I had no ambitions. I wasn't like striving to be the best at anything. Why would someone want to spend their time with someone like that or like be locked in a relationship with a guy like that? So it made sense, honestly. And, um, Low key, I'm kind of glad that she broke up with me because I know that for a fact that I wouldn't have walked away and I honestly feel like it's for the best. I wouldn't have started losing weight. I wouldn't have started this YouTube channel and um, I only hope the best for her, man. Anyways, I've been, since the breakup, which was April 6th of this year, I've been uh, consistently going to the gym about five days a week and I've also been getting uh, I've been trying to get about 15,000 steps in every day and here I'm going to show you on my ring app I don't know if y'all can see that but 
that says 17,000 steps today and I lost, I burned a total of 3,144 calories and that's not including the workout that I did today. I got a good little shoulder pump. Uh, so yeah, uh, I've been losing weight. I've been on a carnivore diet. Well, not really carnivore. I was on a low carb diet for the first two weeks and then I switched to carnivore um, about two weeks ago. And I'll do another video talking about the diet stuff, but I've been eating no carbs for the past month pretty much, and I feel great. Um, I've been losing fat a lot quicker than I have ever been in my life, and I can't wait to see where I'm going in the next couple of months, even years. So, hey, remember that you got to strive for your goals, man. You got to work hard for them, especially when you don't want to, all right? See ya, boys. Andros out.